Dahia Bar Anderson, D A H E I A Bar B A R R hyphen Anderson, and it's A N D E R S O N. I am an assistant professor in the School of Kinesiology. So in the study, we used data from Project EAT, which, which is Eating Among Teens, in which we looked at a very large cohort of um, high school and middle school students and followed their behaviors. So in this particular study, we looked at two cohorts, middle schoolers as they progressed to high school and then high schoolers as they progressed to young adulthood. There was a five-year period in between. And we examined whether or not their behavior at time one, so whether they were in middle school or high school, was associated with their dietary behaviors five years later. And what we found was very interesting for the middle schoolers, those who watched more than five hours of TV when they were in middle school reported a higher sweetened beverage intake and lower fruit intake five years later when they were in high school. For the older cohort, those who reported more than five hours of watching TV when they were in high school, they reported a lower fruit intake, vegetable intake, calcium rich food intake, and um, whole grain intake, and also higher intake of sweetened beverages, fast foods, fried foods, and snack foods five years later when they were in young adulthood. I think wh what it is is that you're seeing that these adolescents are watching a, a huge amount of TV to begin with when they're younger and that even five years later it could potentially have an effect on their dietary habits and their, their overall health. It, although that jumped out at me, it w those findings weren't um, surprising. I was expecting that there were going to be, there was going to be some type of association with the previous behavior, um, television watching behavior with their um, eating habits five years later because there's a lot of research that shows that there's a cross-sectional relationship between diet and television watching and diet and obesity and TV and obesity, so all those different connections. That, um, there may be two possible mechanisms that could be driving this relationship between TV and obesity and TV and the diet. First of all, just as you said, the advertising. That you have this um, adolescents, so think about turning on, the adolescents turning on the TV and watching their shows. What kind of commercials do you usually see? You see commercials with snack foods, with fast food, junk food. And that repeated exposure to those foods may be altering um, or uh, increasing their desire for these foods and then them subsequently going on and purchasing the foods and consuming these higher fat, higher sugar, you know, low nutrient dense foods. And then also it could be um, working through the mechanism of eating while watching TV. So it's like, it's almost like a mindless eating in a sense of you having the foods, you're seeing the foods, starting to crave the foods and then eating the foods. At adolescents um, consume a great amount of their total cal calorie intake, so the total caloric intake while watching television. So I think it's that that's also playing a part. But we're not sure from the data um, that we have, and it's more so that there's, there's a great need for more investigation. I think one thing is really with the parents, the direct message to parents of really capping and, and um, making sure you have guidelines for your children in terms of the amount of time that they spend watching TV. The American Academy of Pediatrics, they recommend that parents only allow their children two hours or less of quality programming. And so parents really adhering to that because the current statistics for American youth age 8 to 18, they're watching over three hours of TV per day. And then that's not counting any of the other screen time that they're doing in media playing. So this is strictly television. So really monitoring you know, the amount of television that they're watching and the type of television that they're watching. And then the second point in terms of food, like also monitoring what types of foods are your children eating. Um, and encourage them to eat healthier foods and um, decrease on their snacking and, and just those basic principles.